iPad is recording. So uh, first off, before you start, make sure you've got your game preloaded. I've got Pokemon Emerald right here. I'm gonna press resume now, and you can see that I've got it preloaded on both my devices. So I'm gonna return back to menu. So to set up wireless thing, you have to go to set up wireless. You need to go to settings. Then you should see wireless link in beta. I'm gonna turn it on on my iPhone. It's already on my iPad. So try this out, and you can see you can see nearby devices. So I'm gonna press iPhone, and then it's gonna say on my iPhone, the iPad wants to link with you. Press accept and it'll link up and then there you go, it says connected, so now we can actually go into the same game I'm sure be showing you how to trade, I've actually got the same save file but with different Pokemon in my party um, I don't use the save file anymore, so I'm gonna go in and trade a minute you may be able to see that it is kind of laggy uh, that is due to me screen recording and it's in beta, so so yeah, it's kind of annoying how slow it's running uh, these are not all the generation devices. These are pretty new. I've got an iPad 2 and an iPhone 5 and it's laggy as balls, man. Look, look how laggy it is right now on my iPad. But yeah, I don't know how to sort this out. And you can't fast forward either, which is kind of stupid. But uh, yeah, I can just send that because like make it unfair for everyone else. So on my iPhone, I'm actually just getting a little talk about trading and stuff. I should have done this before. But yeah, and then we're going to go and do a little trade. It's kind of laggy and I'm really not a fan of it. Uh, that will be fixed in the final beta. It might because I'm recording. I don't know. Uh, this is why I'm not going to show a battle, just because of the same reason. I'm just going to cut this out, so uh, I'll be back when the text is done. Okay, so that took way too long and it had to. Uh, my iPhone actually filled in pretty quickly in comparison to my iPad, but um, as you can see, my iPhone's actually running at full FPS now. I don't know how that happened, but uh, we're going to be going to the far right, which is the trade club. Uh, I wish to um, use the trade, and now I'm in my iPad. It's going to ask me to save. It's fine, let it save. Uh, if you're doing what I'm doing on the same save data, it's kind of annoying, but um, yeah, I don't know why it's laggy on the iPad. Uh, maybe because of RAM RAM allocation, maybe, I don't know how. Maybe because my iPad's pretty full of memory, just it's got movies and stuff on it, but um, Trade Center, let's go, it's gonna save. It's gonna take forever to save, but so far, it's interesting. Uh, if you're gonna use it, use it on a, a newer generation device, like I'm talking iPad 3, 4, iPad Air, iPad Mini, Retina, y you know what I'm saying, the, the, the newer devices. Since my iPhone 5 can handle it, kind of. But yeah, I'm definitely going to be playing this with my friends and stuff, just the whole Pokemon Battle, it's great. It's saving, and then if you, as you can see on my iPhone, it's actually waiting to connect. Whilst on my iPad, it's still saving. So, and I think it's saved now on my iPad, maybe. On my iPad, take as long as you want. Then save the game, yeah. So let's go in. I'm pressing A. I'm pressing A. Come on. Please wait. B button. Yeah, I know. So let's see if this works. I haven't meant to try this. This is my first time. Oh my god, it works. Awaiting. <laughs> Look how slow it's going. This is actually the actual speed, by the way. I am not slowing this down. Oh, um. Speeding up or anything, it's kind of annoying how long it takes, but this is how you set it up. It may just be because we're on the same network as well, I don't know. A wait link up, yeah, I know. When all players are ready, A button, I know I'm pressing A. Come on, I'm pressing A. So a good, a good tip to be would be outside the room when this happens, just because how long it's taken. Like I said, I don't know if it's why it is making it go slow, but this is how you set up training, and I've said I was going to do a video on it, and uh, I am. Yes, A. Hey. Come on. <laughs> Start. Link. Up with. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm pressing A. I'm pressing A for Christ's sake. Confirm. I'm confirming right now. Look, this is ridiculous, Riley. I don't know if this is just a bug, or I'm not running iOS 8. Maybe that might be the thing. I'm running iOS 7.1, but I uh, don't think it would make a difference, to be honest. I'm pressing A. Confirm. Uh, 
Hey. Uh, oh, he's doing it on both screens now. Okay. That's kind of weird. That's, there's a bit of delay. I don't know if it's working through the same network or what, or Bluetooth. I don't know. Actually, I'm not gonna be showing training Pokemon, but this is how you actually set it up. So, and uh, and it looks like we're both going in both games now. So that's cool. I also said show both screens just because I I wanted to show that you can use both connectivities. Let me in. I'm missing it on both screens. I can't tell if it's delay with trading or not. Maybe so. Come on. Please enter. Okay. And that is how you set it up. Uh, it may not be laggy as it is on mine. I, I don't think it is because I get like really good download and upload speeds. But uh, it, it seems to be running at this, exactly the same frames per second as well, which is kind of crazy. So. I'm gonna try this out on other devices, not just the iPad and the iPhone. See if it makes a difference, like on the newer generation devices. Because I know people with iPhone fives, five S's. So I'm gonna try it on, on with those and see if they can get it working or not. But yeah, um, that is how you set trading and balling. You would go into the room when it, whenever I walk in. Just give me one second. The, the door will close. Close. And then. Da, 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 da. It's going dark. We enter in a room where we'll be able to actually see each other. Like, and then I'll show you what I mean by this. And then you just sit on the table, uh, you sit on the uh, trade link and then you can trade Pokemon so. Come on. As you can see, you can see both players like, I'm, I'm, I'm putting it up on my iPad right now, whenever it loads up. And you'll be able to see like movement by movement Positions are good, but as you can see, on both screens, my iPad is moving up, and I'm going to move my iPhone up. And it's like a movement by movement thing. It's crazy that I've actually set this up, but uh, but then you would sit on the tables, and then that's where you can sit, and then you just interact with the computers, and that's how you trade Pokemon. You can also like Battle and Coliseum, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. That's how we set up trading on GBA for iOS. Um, yeah, I shall see you guys later for more videos. Goodbye.